all right so welcome back to another video so today won't be a tutorial in fact i'm just going to show you guys some tools that i find very useful on illustrator and not just that but some of these tools they don't even have shortcuts assigned to them so you kind of have to make your own shortcuts which will be another video so let's get started guys so one tool that helps me a lot is a tool called offset path if i want to access it i have to go to object path offset path and what it does is it creates like a second layer of the same shape that you've selected. So now I have like these two squares with the same proportions. I mean, you might be asking like, hey, how come I need to use this tool? Why can't I just put a square on top of another square? And yeah, it does work with squares, but if you're using a rectangle, for instance, and then say I want to put it on top of the other, right? If you guys see, the sides are not even proportionate. So let's do it again with offset path. I wish there was a shortcut for this. See, you can start to see that it's very proportional and you can even control how big it is. And there you go, offset path guys. All right, so the thing about using Pathfinder is uh, you have to turn your head 45 degrees all the way to the side of your screen, find the Pathfinder tab, and then take a look at one of these buttons. But I'm going to introduce you to what is called the Shape Builder tool. And it's just here on your tools panel. To access it, after highlighting your desired two shapes, um, press Shift M. And you'll start to see that when you hover on top of your shapes, seems like you can actually just select all of the cross sections and right now on my cursor there's like a cross symbol and that means uh, you're gonna unite both of the shapes so if i just like mark it like this it's gonna combine the middle and bottom shape and if i do that again voila so if you want to omit a certain shape you just press alternate and you do the same thing and it's gonna remove it like that all right so next we're gonna talk about image tracing i mean this is a common tool but they've been improving it uh, every time they come up with a new version of illustrator um just click on your image there's a button called image trace here but don't click on it yet if you do it's just gonna simplify everything and then try to separate it into blacks or whites uh, which is not what you want you have to press this small arrow here and pick an option that best suits your image so for me, I typically just go to six colors. At times, I have to use high or low fidelity photo. Now all you have to do is press expand and ungroup everything and all the parts should be uh, dissected for you. The next thing I want to show you guys is this function called uh, recolor artwork. Select your artwork, go to the edit panel edit colors and then press recolor artwork so what this will do is it will allow you to change the colors present in your artwork into anything you see in this color wheel here yeah i know this is genius before i find this out i had to manually go to the swatches panel and just click any color that uh, i want to try out and i can say this is like two seconds faster for me because if not i have to go click Click, 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 click. All right, and that's it for today. I hope this video helped you guys. There's always an easy way to do things from Adobe. Uh, one thing I've noticed is that Adobe actually gives a lot of thought into the tools that they give you, but they just have so many things to offer that a lot of it gets drowned in the background, in menus. Honestly, you just have to pay attention to the tutorials instead and see where that takes you. All right, so don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel and I'll see you in the next video.